Okay, so uh, I'm going to wire up the um, the ESCs to the flight controller. Uh, you can see on the browser window there, I've just got the, the Lumenia uh, manual, and it shows that this connector, this bottom connector here, is for motors one to four. And um, I'm going to, and you can see which uh, which pins those are, and um, the ESCs come with a nice uh, connector uh, which isn't connected at the other end. So you've got some bare, bare um, uh, JST connectors. So I'll find one of these will be the right size. Uh, that one probably. There we go. Yeah, so that's the right size. So what I'm going to do is carefully insert um, the right pins uh, as uh, documented on. You can see on the that you see there it documents what which pin is which so I'm going to connect the four motors ground battery current uh, and the telemetry pin uh, as well because there's a, a telemetry uh, connector on here so I'm going to do that now okay you can see I've wired up the pins um, I suggest you double and triple check this because these connectors are very common on different flight control boards but they're not all wired the same I've made this mistake in the past so just really double check that you're doing the right pin to the right pin um, and I've also popped out the two there's a like a 10 volt supply and an extra ground that I don't need so I've just popped those out of the connectors so they're not flapping around um, you'll also notice I've temporarily soldered uh, a pigtail on here. It's this, this is actually going to be a 6S build but uh, don't have any 6S batteries at the moment or connectors so I've just uh, uh, soldered a 4S connector on um, so I can configure the ESCs because um, uh, it, you need power to the ESCs to be actually able to configure them. Okay so with that wired up I'm going to switch back to the other view so that we can configure this in software. All right, so back to this view. So uh, I'm going to power on the flight controller. And you'll see from the documentation here that uh, it is RX8. So UART8 is the serial input, um, or the telemetry input. Uh, and so, and if I scroll down here, you'll see that uh, if we go to the RG Pilot mapping, which is here, TX8, RX8 is UART8, is Serial 5. So I'm going to connect with Mission Planner. Go to the config, full parameter list, search for serial 5, and I'm going to set the serial 5 protocol to 16, which is uh, ESC telemetry. Okay, and then I'm also going to set my PWM type to D-Shot because nothing fast won't work without D-Shot being configured. So I'm going to set that to D-Shot 600 uh, which is 6 and then I'm just going to set the um, BL-Heli parameters. So this is Servo BLH. Uh, so the, the default's good. I'm going to set Auto to 1 which allows pass through to work uh, and um, I'm going to leave uh, everything else at the default for now. Um, so write those out. Okay. And then I'm going to disconnect. 
And then I'm going to power off the board and power it on via a battery. So uh, the ESC's plugged in now, so I can power on via battery. And the lights come on, which is nice. And then plug the board in again. Uh, and this time, let me just reconfigure this. I'm going to start uh, BL Heli Suite. So let me just get that up. Okay, so I've got BL Heli Suite here. The ESCs are powered. Um, the flight controller is plugged in via USB. So what I'm going to do is select the RG Pilot COM port and connect to that. And connect is successful. That wouldn't have been successful if I hadn't um, configured uh, uh, auto. And then I'm going to read the setup. This is good. This means parser is working. Uh, and actually, um, 32.8 is already loaded on the um, ESC, as you can see that here. So I actually don't need to do anything. So I, I know that parser is working, which was my main goal. And um, uh, uh, if I had the wrong version of BL Heli here, 32.8 is good. I would have updated, but since I don't need to update, I'm not going to do that. Uh, so uh, good. So I'll disconnect that. There we go. And then because uh, because I know DSHOT is working now and BL Hully is working now, I'm going to make one more configuration change. So I'm going to reconnect our mission planner. There we go. And I'm going to set uh, oops. That's what I meant to do. Full parameter list. Uh, I'm gonna set servo. Uh, Servo D shot ESC to BL Heli. So this allows um, BL Heli, uh, uh, th this allows uh, BL Heli commands to work. And then I'm going to go to the notifications and select the notifications LEDs types. And I'm going to include D shot because one of the nice things about this. Uh, um, and save those settings. One of the nice things about this, these ESCs is they have an onboard LED that responds to DSHOP. So uh, let me disconnect and then I'm going to repower the uh, front controller. And now you can see that uh, now I have the regular RG Pilot uh, LED flashing happening on the ESCs, uh, which is quite neat and nice. And uh, that's great. So I know that the ESCs are working properly. I know that uh, DSHOT is working because none of this would work without DSHOT is working. And I've got things connected up to um, the, RG, uh, the uh, flight controller. And then there's one final thing to check which is ESC telemetry. So I go back to Mission Planner. And I go to, oops, status. What we should see here.
And then you look here is that we've got ESC temperature and voltage uh, for the ESCs, which means that the uh, ESC telemetry is working correctly. Um, now, RPM I'm going to get uh, from um, uh, BD shot, but uh, that can be set up for a, a later period. I, I'm confident that uh, things are working enough to, to start uh, assembling the rest of the electronics. Okay.